Traveling Mel. Dot com. Hey, hey. We are at the Smith River in central Montana. This is a beautiful river and it's super popular for floating in the spring and maybe early summer, depending on water flows. And this year there has been a change to regulations on the Smith River and we want to walk you through that today. So the change is that you have to carry out your own human waste. And it sounds crazy and it sounds gross, but it's totally standard practice on almost every other river, but it's just new to the Smith. In this video, we're gonna explain the how and the why of packing out your poop. So um, I'm also gonna show you this new scat machine that will help clean and sanitize your, um, your portable toilet system. It's here at the Edenbridge takeout. It's called the scat machine and it makes everything nice and tidy. If you have ever floated the Smith or maybe you've watched our video or looked at our very comprehensive blog post about everything you need to know about floating the Smith, one thing you'll know is that there were, until this year, pit toilets at each of the campsites. And the pit toilets were basically, you know, a hole in the ground and a kind of a tube and then a toilet seat on top. And that worked okay, but um, you still get a lot of waste into the river corridor. So that had to change and those have been decommissioned. For a river corridor that gets as much use as the Smith River does, packing out our waste helps limit the disturbance to soil, vegetation, and cultural resources. Also, it's gonna reduce the risk to public health and contamination of the water resources. In other words, we can't just be pooping all over the place that we love. While initially the idea of packing around a bin of your own poop and your friend's poop might sound super disgusting, it's really not that bad. And we're gonna show you the way to keep clean and keep sanitary and also protect the river. There is a list of approved portable toilet systems on the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Park website. And I have linked to that in my blog post, which is then linked to in this video at the bottom in the caption. But the one that we're gonna talk about today is the Groover and they all function basically the same, but the way this one works is it's an old ammo can and it's, it's called a Groover because um, if you were to just sit on the ammo can itself, like people used to do, then um, you get these long grooves in your back, your legs and your butt. However, that's not how we're gonna handle it. This particular Groover has an insert, a plastic insert inside of it. Um, so some of them, some people just go directly into the ammo can and clean it. This has another layer of separation. Uh, and then when you're getting ready to find, to set it up, what you wanna do is look for a spot that is flat, obviously. You don't wanna fall off while you're sitting on it. Um, it should have some privacy and you want it to be somewhat close to the river because the number one rule of river trips is you do not pee in the Groover because if you pee in it, then that is just a lot to carry around for the rest of your trip. So what you're supposed to do is pee in the river and then you poop in the Groover. Um, and so for those of us who sit, for those things, we like to be sort of close to the river because you don't want to have to hike half a mile between peeing and pooping, if I may be so blunt. However, that might not be possible um, on the Smith because some of the um, places don't have a lot of privacy. And so they've left up some of the screens where those decommissioned pit toilets were. And then you're gonna have to hike a little further. Uh, Montana Fish, Wildlife and Park recommends that you have a pee bucket that you pee in and then you rinse in the river so you can figure that part out yourself. So the first thing you want to do is take off this lid and put it somewhere that you're not going to lose it. All right, and then you take your toilet seat and slide it in there and you're good to go. Literally. Uh, the other th part about this whole system that is important is that you have your bag or your box or whatever that has your toilet paper, hand sanitizer, super important. You're gonna wanna do that 
after you set it up, after you go to the bathroom and all of that kind of thing. Um, and what you can do with your bag, or you could do this with a canoe paddle or something, is find a place down the trail to leave it. And so people will know if it's in the trail, then um, go ahead and take it and use the groover. And if it's not there, then you need to wait. That means someone's there. Uh, we also use a canoe paddle, which if it's across the trail, it means don't go. And if it's lining parallel to the trail, that means it is available. So I said the number one rule about the groover is that um, you never pee in the groover. So only human waste and toilet paper, just regular toilet paper, no wipes or anything can go in here. And that's important when you dump it. So um, don't, don't make a mistake on that one. Um, and then when you have packed your boat in the morning and the groover and the hand washing station are usually the last two things to get packed up. Um, you might have some gloves in your, your bag, um, but basically you're gonna disassemble, take this off, put that lid that you kept track of back on. And then you just seal it up, ready to go on the boat and um, I also like to keep some um, a, a cleaning brush and maybe some biodegradable cleaner in that bag so you're probably going to need to clean this up a little bit after each <laughs> each day and then you just put it back in your bag inside your bag and put it all on the boat the thing to remember too is on your last day, as you're packing up to leave to come out here at Eden Bridge, go ahead and add a little bit of river water to this and slosh it around. If you liquefy this a little bit, it'll be easier to clean um, in the scat station, which is where we're gonna take you next. After you have trailered your boat and cleared off the ramp, you're gonna bring your groover over here to the scat machine shed and SCAT stands for Sanitize Clean with Alternative Technology. And that is what we're gonna do here today. And remember, only human waste and toilet paper and maybe a little bit of river water in your groover. The SCAT machine is pretty easy to use and the directions are on the wall right here for all the different um, portable toilet systems. I'm gonna show you how to use it with the groover. When you first walk in, uh, this is what the scat machine looks like. And over on this side is the, um, for the poop tubes, if you're kayaking or something. But the first thing you do is you press the activate button. And, you and then you can go ahead and open it. You can start off by putting the lid in if you don't have an insert. Our lid is clean, so I don't really need to do that. But what you do want to do is put the lid, or the, this top, in the tray back here. And if you had a groover without an insert, you would put the whole lid back there as well. And we're gonna strap it on. There might be a little bit of trial and error because there are two places you can attach it. We attached it the wrong place the first time, but it's, it's self-evident when you go to close it. And the other thing is you probably wanna have straps that fit a little bit better, but we had what we had. And then you just close it up carefully. And when it's done, you just open it up and your groover is shiny and clean. If the scat machine is ever broken, which hopefully it won't be, there is this backup system over here, which would be unlocked at that point. They keep it locked um, when the scat machine's working, but it's basically like an RV kind of thing where you can dump it. It won't clean and sanitize it like this one will, but at least you can dump here. 
thank you for watching. I hope that was uh, helpful for anyone planning a Smith trip or actually any river trip where you're going to take a portable toilet system. And make sure to check the link for the approved toilet systems for Montana Fish, Wildlife and Park because it does have to be in a hard sided toilet system, um, no wag bags or bags at all. So, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully we can answer them and have an amazing trip on the Smith River.